In the old Milwaukee station off Kim Williams Trail on the Clark Fork River, you'll find the national headquarters of America's oldest conservation organization, the Boone and Crockett Club. We were founded in 1887 by Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt wasn't yet president. The famed outdoorsman who found solace on his North Dakota ranch traveled the Dakotas, Wyoming, and Montana. What he saw disturbed him. Massive market hunting and the abuse of our lands. He saw the decimation of our wildlife species and he saw the pillaging of our natural resources. You know, we have pictures in, uh, in our archives of mound, mountains of buffalo skulls. And when he came home in 1887, he decided he wanted to pull people together to try to solve those issues. He brought 100 of the nation's most influential men together, industrialists, scientists, and politicians. They were all hunters. They uh, had dinner on December 7th, 1887, and started talking about how to solve problems. You know, the first thing that they did was tackle Yellowstone National Park because there was a lot of uh, poaching going on in Yellowstone. Uh, there was a lot of uh, natural resource uh, uh, extraction going on in Yellowstone. It was a national park. They expanded Yellowstone Park's boundaries. After Roosevelt became president in 1901, the club initiated other changes. The establishment of the U.S. Forest Service the National Wildlife Refuge System and the National Park Service, and also established state laws and did away with uh, market hunting. Today, says Tony, we see how those efforts have paid off. Whitetail, mule deer, antelope, uh, elk, um, you know, those species are doing great uh, compared to where they were at 135 years ago. He says because of their size and the vast amount of land they need, bison haven't fully recovered. It's not like they're endangered, but it's just, uh, that's the one species that probably can't recover to their for former native range because their former native range was just so big. The club may be best known for its records program. It has a patented scoring system that measures trophy big game animals. Size is a sign of health. Okay, so this is a Montana sheep and it is the current world record bighorn and it was found on Wild Horse Island in Flathead Lake. The records program is a library of information for entire ecosystems. And even today, uh, state wildlife agencies, provincial wildlife agencies use that records program and the data that we have to measure ecosystems against each other. You know, like whitetail might be doing great in this area, but I have the same kind of area um, and they're not doing so well, what am I doing wrong? Hunters or anyone interested in wildlife take advantage of its educational programs. It brings a lot of kids. A lot of the kids are hunters, but some are not. So we try to educate them about hunting and its role in wildlife conservation. Boone and Crockett moved its national headquarters from Washington, D.C. to Missoula 30 years ago. We are so blessed to have a, such a variety of wildlife in, in Montana. Uh, in order to keep it that way, you have to manage the wildlife. Hunting and fishing are critical in the whole model of wildlife conservation, not only as a funding source but a management tool. The Boone and Crockett Club still has its traditional 100 members. Their identity is confidential, but it's added more than 160 wildlife experts like Tony himself. You know, we're working today on issues like chronic wasting disease and we are working on issues involving forced health. Next month, the Boone and Crockett Club will hold its 135th annual meeting. Chronic wasting disease, the devastating disease that affects ungulates and catastrophic wildfires in our national forests will be at the top of the list. 135 years later, the work of the club's founders continues in our own backyard. They were visionaries. Tony says Boone and Crockett saw the old Milwaukee station as the perfect spot to emulate the history and the character of its organization. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.